Okay, so I just thought I'd catch everybody up on where we're at. This is the air intake and exhaust for the furnace. Um, there's a couple of short clips that we attempted to make when we were putting installing the furnace with my brother, and they're kind of funny, but they don't really give much information. It's f so I'm going to kind of catch everybody up on that a little bit. So we used a uh, hole saw to go through the foam panel that I had talked about earlier in another video and uh, and then there's basically two ducts that go through the wall so uh, and we installed this at night so the silicone job's a little rough on it you can kind of see um, definitely I'm probably gonna clean this up a little bit make it look a little cleaner but uh, it's functioning it's not leaking or anything so I'm satisfied with it and uh, maybe when it's warmer and I have some free time we'll, we'll get back to that but it's not a priority so anyways let's go around and I'll show you the the two uh, plastic boxes that I put through for the uh, oh it's a little slippery okay so here's the uh, so it'll be like outside power plugs and that one up there is the um, gonna be the exterior light this one what we did was I basically marked it on the inside and then drilled four pilot holes you can see in the corners and then I uh, st uh, put straight lines across and used a jigsaw to cut that out and that's how we cut that one through and then that one up there was a hole saw again and it worked pretty good so let's go inside here okay so you can see we started on the poly a little bit I'm gonna talk more about that Okay, so I thought now would be a good time to insert a short slideshow. I didn't have a much good video of the poly installation, but I did have some pretty good pictures. In these two pictures, I'm installing the poly on a main wall with about a four inch overlap at the top, and I just stapled it uh, every 16 inches on the studs. I had to do a lot of this in the dark. It was during the winter, and uh, I'm just installing poly in the bathroom and yeah, I think both those pictures are in the bathroom actually, but it was basically just more of the same. Okay, so I did do uh, quite a few pictures of doing the poly around a window. So I started out by cutting out the window opening and I went in about a half inch from the, the edge of the wood. So here I am, a little bit grumpy on the left. I was actually not in the mood that day. And I just thought it was kind of funny to throw that picture in here. And then, of course, uh, me tr trying to put on a smile, even though I wasn't really feeling in the mood to be doing any pictures. Okay, so after I cut the poly, uh, I used acoustical sealant around the window. And I put that in about a half inch from the edge of the poly. Uh, this stuff you have to be really careful with. It's very sticky, and if you get it on something and pull away, it it kind of gets stringy it like I don't know what you would compare it to but like sticky molasses or something it's just uh, incredibly difficult to get off once you get it on something you don't want and that just seals basically seals up uh, around the window prevents any moisture humidity leaking in there I also used it at the top and bottom of the walls and in the corners but I didn't use it on every stud I have seen in some houses it being used in every stud uh, then I stapled the poly on and you can see me contemplating life on the right there as I uh, start with the tuck tape. And here I am doing the tuck tape around the window. I started on the bottom just like I did for the exterior window flashing, that uh, blue stuff you can see in the picture on the right. And then I did the sides and the top. And here we are. Uh, went, the poly is complete around the window, and I'm a happy guy because I don't need to pose for the camera anymore. Uh, speaking of the furnace, so it's basically in. Um, there's not a whole lot to see here. Uh, we still have to run the ducts. There's going to be uh, ducts, two ducts that go off the side. That round thing you're looking at there, that's going to be one of the ducts, and it's going to go into the bathroom, and then the other one's going to blow into the kitchen. So. That'll be pretty good. Um, the gas line is hooked up. Um, 
the electrical is not so that's where we're at with that it was not too bad of an install and that's too bad we couldn't show you kind of step by step but uh, it's pretty basic um, just the two uh, metal ducts going through the um, styrofoam here and um, and then anywhere I needed to seal it I used high temperature silicone so that's about it for that um, the insulation is complete uh, I don't know if there's too much more to see that you didn't see in some of the other videos but um, I'm sorry it's kind of dark in here the uh, this corner here where this pipe comes in I thought I'd mention that quickly I basically use some spray foam around the pipe there and that's just to stop any um, drafts or condensation that the pipe might accumulate because it's going to be cold where it goes through the wall so that's what we did there and then that little piece of poly I tucked under there that's just to uh, if there is a little bit of condensating on that pipe um, you know in the middle of winter when it's minus 30 or whatnot um, it'll just come out on the poly there and it won't soak into our floor so that was the idea there at some point you know we might put in like a custom metal pan or something but that'll do for now and we'll we'll check on it and make sure nothing's going on there but that's about it um, I have those other videos on how the uh, insulation was done and whatnot so oh one more thing here um, we'll talk more about this later as well but um, this right here is going to be where the air intake is but I still have to build it so we're just going to poly around it and tape it up and uh, and then I'll I'll get to it when I have time okay so that's it for now